I am so sorry I lied to you. I really didn't mean to. In the last video, I said that this video would be the 100K PM Sally reveal video, and it is not. That video is ready, it's edited, but there is a holdup that is out of my hands and it has to go up in two weeks. Instead, here is another juicy video about money and I do reveal my salary at Google by the end of this video. Hopefully that makes things up for now. So this is what I spend in a week as a 30 year old. Mm. I know yes, I lost my job, but I also have an emergency fund and I have lots of savings. I am also addicted to being a sugar sister. And I am launching a podcast, which means there are a lot of expenses coming up. And there's an IE concert. So this is Diaries of a Former Salary Woman Who No Longer Lives the W-2 Life. Ikimashou. Hi y'all, it's Sunday. We just wrapped a really long day of filming my pod that is coming out later this year. If you saw my 2024 goals video, you'll know that one of my big goals is to launch a pod and I'm finally recording it. Look at all of this equipment. We got nice mics. We got an audio mixer, but it has come to my attention that I need to make a big financial decision, which is whether or not I should upgrade my lenses. My co-host who shall not be named has lent me their lenses. One is a Sony 2470 millimeter GM 2.8 and the other one is a Sigma version of it, which is a thousand dollars cheaper, but I don't know which one to buy. So we're gonna do a little test. In front of you are the two lenses side by side. Can you tell which one is which? I think not. <laughs> so right now you're looking at me from the Sony and now you're looking at me from the Sigma. And yes, that is a thousand dollar difference. So which one do I buy? The original Sony one or the alternative? We must summon the IT support husband, Kevin. That's me. I did a lot think? of research yeah. and basically the TLDR is Sony has slightly better autofocus and it's a little lighter, but it's a little bigger. The Sony is slightly better in every way, but it's a thousand dollars more. And like, I don't think you can tell the difference. So is that worth a thousand dollars? Literally this Reddit comment says, if money is no issue, get the new Sony. It's better in every way. So how much of an issue is money? It's literally double. It says for most people, probably not, especially if you're not a pro. Aren't you I a pro? pro? Are you a pro? Aren't I a pro now? Okay, think about this. Like you can get two Sigmas for the price of the Sony. I can buy one Sigma and then buy one Sony. That's just more money. Um. You also need SD cards, right? Yes, I need two more mic stands, more SD cards. Sand is extreme pro. Oh, okay. it's on sale. Oh, hell yeah. Hello, I just finished showering. I'm going to bed right now. I ended up going with the Sigma lens. I just think the Sony one is a little too overpriced. It just makes no sense for me to go with the Sony. Maybe in the future, budget won't be an issue, but for now, we can work with the Sigma. I think it's a great lens. I've seen a ton of videos on it. That's $1,000, woohoo. This is a really random purchase that I made today, but I was perusing the YouTube and I saw a beautiful font. Okay, it's called a typeface, but when it's packaged into various styles, like thin, italic, bold, it's called a font. And I bought it. It's called Gabriella. It is beautiful. You can see it here, 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 here. It is $80. Actually, the whole font package is like 130. I really thought long and hard about pirating it. I did grow up pirating a lot of movies. What is it called? LimeWire? Crazy. But you know, you gotta support your artist. I paid for that $80. I'm gonna use it like crazy. You're gonna see it in a bunch of videos. Maybe one day I'll come up with the font. I would love to sell my own font. Time for bed, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna be for real, I did not have time to vlog Monday through Wednesday. So I'm gonna talk through what I spent while opening up this bad boy that just came. <sighs> This is actually the pivot cabinet from MoMA that I bought last year, but then it came damaged. The sun then I had to return it, buy a new one, but it was out of stock, so it took forever. It is very expensive. It is a $400 cabinet, but I love it. But yeah, Monday. Monday was a day that I finally pulled the trigger to buy a green screen for myself. I got it from Elgato for $142. Then for the first time ever, my brother asked me if I can buy him tickets to the auto concert. She is a Japanese artist that is known for her music in one piece and she's coming to LA. Ugh. But because it's happening so fast, we had to buy resale tickets. They were $539. 
On Tuesday, I went to a coffee shop called Time 3 in K-Town with my brother. So then I can teach him about content, filming, editing. Then I went to H Mart to go grocery shopping. Groceries were $91. We went home. I made hot pot for the both of us. And then it was time for IU tickets for Taipei because I'm going to be in Taiwan next month. I would be in Taipei when IU is there. I went on their website, KK Ticks, to try to get tickets with all my brothers and Kevin. None of us could get tickets. So we spent a whopping $0 but we gained depression. <laughs> So that was Tuesday and then Wednesday I just worked all day. Wednesday was busy. I was just editing in meetings, inboxing, and I did my financial projections. I think it's so important to properly do financial projections and budgeting from the beginning so that I can set my intentions for where every dollar is going to because I want to make sure my money is compounding over time. It's being spent in a way that makes sense for my life or my business and I know how much money I get to spend guilt-free and how much money I need save and invest and yeah. Because <laughs> we're not going to take any L's when spending this year. Mm -mm, we're way past that life. I will be sharing my budgeting sheets at the end of the video after we get through this week. But if financial health is one of your goals this year and you need like a finance bestie to get through everything with you, I'm not that person for you. The sponsor of today's video is Credit You. First of all, I am really impressed by finance apps, but Credit You has bedazzled me. They're launched by the American Consumer Credit Counseling. They're super legit, the internet loves them, great rating. Recently, they've been cooking up the ultimate money management app, working with certified credit counselors and AI to change the way Americans live financially. Okay, enough big words, let me just show you. Open up the app, share your financial situation, connect your accounts, and select your goals. And boom, there's every step and every milestone you need to get there. As someone who just bought a house, I cannot believe I didn't have this last year, but they recently did launch, so I guess it's okay. There's a lot of gold nuggets in here, but it really boils down to three things. Number one, it's your finance bestie or coach. It gives you daily finance tips tailored to you, custom budget recommendations based on your goals, and AI-powered financial chats to help you with any of your questions. Two, it shows all of your finance stats. There are very few finance apps that are an all-in-one kind of thing. I usually have to grab info from every account and then dump it into a spreadsheet. So dumb. But you can automatically connect all your accounts and Credit You will show you everything that you have in a nice summary, like your net worth, your credit score, your credit utilization, and your debt-to-income ratio. Lastly, it is your place to really elevate your financial health. I've not seen a more comprehensive, holistic finance app. And the best part is it is free for the first month. So use my link down below to download the app. Congrats credit you for this impeccable product launch. Now back to the video. Today we are going to war. It's Thursday, March 7th, and today is when we get to buy the IU tickets for LA. I will dish out money for this. This is an investment of a lifetime. Ticketmaster, you better work this time. We're on a Discord call with my brothers. To get tickets. Also, I went to Coffee MCO this morning to get their Kohen latte. Okay, now for all you tickets. Ah, two accounts, three devices. Let's see if I'll be able to make it. I would pay thousand dollars for VIP if I could. But she only has general public and official platinum. I don't know what the difference is. This is my first time buying tickets for a concert like this. Yeah. <laughs> In the waiting room. Oh my god. Uh, 62,000 people ahead of me. 62,000? It's a race to whoever gets to check out first. Why was it only one ticket? Because they got grabbed before as I was doing the thing. Oh, things got opened. Caster, can you keep track of that? 3,181. What the hell? Okay, I'm just going for two. This is too hard. I'm going for two. Yeah, going go for, for two. two. Go for two. Is that two? It's two. It's two. It's two. Okay. Okay. Then I'm next. Fucking gamer, dude. You're a capital G gamer. B. Where, where, where do I go? Anywhere, yeah, yeah. Right here? Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, please. It's gone, it's gone. Get it's gone, two. Get it's gone. Two. These three. No, you took too long. I see what this is now. I see the two. game. Go. Get off. Get off? You <laughs> told me to get off. Th those two, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. Oh, 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 holy shit. It's like a whack-a-mole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, we have a chance, we have a chance. Got it. <gasps> we got it, we got it. Place order. Preferred parking bless. Yeah, go. Okay, okay, please. <laughs> Declined. Oh, the payment did provider? You, you check your text. Okay, okay, I put yes. Did we get three tickets? Yeah, yeah, I got three. We got five. So what is the grand total? Yeah, we bought two tickets, right? That was that was you? <laughs> Caster's R and Jesus. And he got two tickets. That was for a total of fourteen hundred dollars. I got three tickets for a total of three thousand five hundred dollars. I think that was official platinum, but it's in the front front. So Ugh. I can't believe we got the tickets. Crazy! 
Hello, hello, it is dinner time. I wanna talk to you about something a bit. Even though today's IU tickets were successfully acquired, Kevin and I got into a little spat. Not an argument, but we had an honest conversation because I spent a total of 9,100 something dollars. In my defense, I spent this much money to pay for my brother's tickets and my brother's girlfriend and a few extras just in case for other friends, but I did buy resale tickets and I'm kind of a concert noob here. so. I just want my tickets. I personally think this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but Kevin felt that it was really hefty. Is there anything you would like to say, Kevin? I agree with you. I think it's once in a lifetime because IU never world tours and it's money we can't afford, thankfully. But $1,000 a ticket is a lot. Yeah. Kevin's very stressed. Because yeah, you've been spending a lot of money. No, I haven't. Have I? You've been spoiling your brothers recently. I have a soft spot for my brothers and I just want them to have a really nice life and live out their youth, unlike me. But Kevin has a because now this is not just my money, it is our money. Yeah, and I think like $9,000 is a bit misleading because we're gonna sell what we paid for to our friends. Yeah. For like, what, four of those tickets? But there's a chance no one buys it. Fuck. <laughs> to be fair though, it was real hectic and we had to buy it real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Buying it was like, like esports level clicking. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, we're in our concert era. I guess we have IU, Yosobi, and Lawrence. So it's all good. And I was like really sad I couldn't get IU tickets in Taipei. So I really wanted LA. We were gonna go no matter what. We needed what. a win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna finish eating my makeshift udon noodles and call it a night. Good night. Happy International Women's Day. Anyways, it's 6 p.m. and I'm headed out to a dinner with Yuzu. And they're hosting this thing for Asian women. Oh, wow. LA drivers. People be crazy out here. By the way, I did not buy anything today yet because I just ate at home. I'm not playing anything right now, but on my way to the dinner, I am listening to the latest episode of The Yard, which is our episode for Women's History Month with Lily Pichu, and it is so freaking funny. Okay. Let's go to the event. Ah, Michelle. This is really cute. We're also like, we really want to, our goal and mission is to empower Asian pride. Hey, hi, Michelle. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, International Women. Wow, thank you. Wow, me too. Oh, so pretty. I've been thinking about it for five. I just got a package from BenQ. They sent me a lamp for my desk. So let's unbox it together. This is really heavy. I think my desk is not bright enough, so I feel like I'm straining my eyes while working. Ta-da! Let's put it on my desk. I think it would have to go here. Whoa. I like it. Oh, this is really nice. So much brighter. If I had to buy this myself, it'd be $200. Thank you, BenQ. Now, to work. Guess what came in the mail today? The lens! But I'm gonna keep all the packaging just in case I have buyer's remorse. Oh, that came very fast. I bought it from B&H Photo, and we're gonna use it for filming today. Ta-da! She's gorgeous. So this is my A7S III. This is the Sigma. I thought this week was just gonna be a normal week where I just only buy maybe food and then like some Amazon orders, I guess, per use. But no, I made some big purchases. Look at that. It's so pretty. I feel like my hair looks like a rat's neck sometimes. Let's make some food. Kevin, my dear, dear husband, who's right in front of me, <laughs> took my Toyota RAV4 to the auto shop because I think I had a flat tire. Did I have a flat tire? I had a flat tire, just low tire pressure and it was up for maintenance, mm -mm. like through six months. So we found a very lovely auto shop. Yeah, and it was like 
$80 for oil change, tire, pressure, air. And it took 20 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah, super fast. Whenever I took my car to the dealer, it would be like over $200 and the car would be there all day. Auto shop is the way to go. Mm, I found a good one. I accidentally broke this off of my money tree. Anyways, let's talk about the grand total of the week. Drum roll, please. I spent a total of $11,000 this week. That's a forking lot, right? It certainly is. If you break it down to what's for the freelance business and personal, I actually spent 1,800 for the business, 9,000 for personal. But if you take out IU, I actually spent $544. I will very likely sell half of the IU tickets. My personal ticket is about $1,100 and I'm choosing to buy these tickets for my brothers and other friends. So this skews the weekly spendings a lot. So this is it. But I wanna get something off my chest. I know money and budgeting videos are very highly requested. I did an internal survey of what format people would wanna see. And the what I spend video type was the popular vote. However, I personally do not understand why people watch these videos. Mm. And my principles do not allow me to end the video right here because I don't know what value I am giving to you, my precious viewer. And so I thought, hmm, why do people watch these type of videos? I asked around and got two reasons. One is you like watching people spend a lot of money. Two is you want to see how other people spend and how they budget so you can apply that to your own budgeting. And I want to address number two. Mm. I get a lot of, I want to be better at budgeting and personal finance. How do you do budgeting, Chloe? In the earlier stages, it usually comes down to three key questions. One, how much money do I need to make to afford my basic living needs? Two is how much money can I spend for fun, guilt-free? The third is how much money should I allocate to savings, investments, debt? These are really big topics and I will try to answer them in my money series on my shorts. For now, if I were to give advice to my younger self, it would be to use the 50-30-20 rule to budget for the year and have a mental number for how much I can spend guilt-free and invest every month based on what I make. I've bought budgeting templates and I've used many of them, but I actually hate all of them. Most of them tell you to track every single expenditure line by line, day by day, and I just think that's overkill. It is the most impractical thing. Instead, I think it's most helpful to do a budgeting session for the year or for the quarter or maybe even for the month. That way you know your numbers for all of these. Here's an example of how I do this. My first job at Google, I made $64,000 pre-tax, so post-tax would be $46,000. <laughs> Oh my God. Let's divide that by 12. So the monthly post-tax income was $3,900. So that's how much money I get to spend on myself. That is what I keep. I wrote down all of my needs first. So things like rent, Wi-Fi, gas, insurance, food, groceries. That totaled up to be $2,800. And that was my real situation back then. Was I making enough to afford my baseline level? Not really, because that was 72% of my income. If I wanted it to be 50%, then I had to be making $92,000 pre-tax. Mental note, gotta get promoted. So with that, how much can I spend in once? So it depends on how much I wanna allocate in investments and savings. If I max it out to 20%, then I only have 8% left in the wants bucket, which results in $319 per month. And that's not a lot of money, but that is guilt-free. Obviously I can spend more in wants, but that would directly dip into the investments and savings and debt bucket. So yes, that was a very uncomfortable time of life. I was living in San Francisco, one of the most expensive cities in the world. And no, I did not end up maxing out my 401k that year. Yeah, it's a struggle. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Remember, you can use my free template link down below if you are feeling a little guilty about your spending habits. This would be a really good gut check to see where you're at. I hope this helps. This is just part one of personal finance on this channel. Let me know what other topics you're interested in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.